Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry and I'm joined today by my buddy. Hello. And we'll be looking at the Campbelldown, the British Tier 3 Premium Destroyer. And if you're not aware of it, my buddy actually has been playing World of Warships before me. Yeah, so um, I actually found this game and I told it to him and he liked it and he's like, I'll play more. Play, 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 play. <laughs> that, now he's got this. And, and that's that's how we eventually got to this YouTube channel. So, uh, the Campbelltown. Uh, the Campbelltown, let, let me tell you a little bit about the history about the Campbelltown. The yeah. Campbelltown has a lot of things to do with the Tirpitz, the Tier 8 German battleship. Yeah. And the reason for that is that, well, the Tirpitz was sitting in Norway. Yeah. And the British were very, very scared of the Tirpitz. So what they did, they they flew, they sailed to Campbelltown over to the Turpits, where where was just sitting around there. Not and quite. They weren't sailing her to the Turpits. They were afraid that the Turpits would come out into the Atlantic, and the only port where the Turpits could be repaired was in France, in Saint Nazaire. So they thought, if we destroy that dock. Then the Germans can't repair the Tirpitz, and then the Tirpitz can't come out into the Atlantic and sink our cargo ships. So they came up with a cunning plan. So what they did is they put uh, a bomb in the Campbelltown. They put a very big bomb in the Campbelltown, and they dressed her up to look like a German ship. Yeah. So they could sail over to Saint Nazaire, and then ram the Campbelltown into the dry dock. And uh, a lot of a lot of commandos were jumping out, and there was a lot of shooting involved, and general mayhem. And people were like, "Hmm, there's a ship here. Let's investigate." So they were investigating the ship afterwards, but because they uh, they couldn't find the bomb because it was kind of cast in concrete and it was hidden away, so they it didn't notice. Timed. It was also a timed bomb. It was a time bomb, exactly. So, and then, then after a while, it went boom, and it destroyed the, th the place. Where they fixed the turpits. Where they could fix the turpits. So they couldn't fix the turpits, so the turpits stayed over in Norway. Which no, um, that, That's what the Campbelltown has to do with the turpits. Now, in the game, the Campbelltown has, well, it's a tier 3 destroyer. So she has very little health, very little armor. Like 8,000 health. Yeah, that is very like. little. Yeah, so you have to be very careful with this ship. Um, she is uh, decently maneuverable. The guns are not great. She has 300 millimeter guns. And they are, v they are very bad. I was once playing with it and like I was, I was trying to, I was like at this, I was like at what? At, like at and an I angle was shooting at it. I was at an angle and I was shooting. It was like, it was kind of like on the side. There was yeah. only two guns shooting. I'm like, you, what you the? You can't get all three guns to, uh, on target because of the way they're positioned, because they're kind of positioned on, on the sidelines here. Uh, so two of the guns are positioned sideways and only one pos gun's positioned forward. So the guns are really not great. The torpedoes, on the other hand, are actually not terrible. They've got um, um, six, so three, then three, then... Well, it's a bit unusual in terms of layout because the torpedoes are side-mounted, a bit more like on a cruiser, not so much like on a destroyer normally, which means you have to sh turn the ship around to fire the other three. Wait, what? Yeah, you get three on each side. You can't fire all six in the same direction. Oh, wait, is that is that actually a difference in? Yeah, I never knew that. Some of the destroyers have, or well, most of the destroyers have the torpedoes mounted on the center line, so you, they can fire all the torpedoes in one direction. Oh yeah, it's like this. It's like this. It's not the torpedoes on the side. Like it has mm -hmm. like a gate on it, and then they then they actually f fire it there. It's kind of like on the top. It's actually sitting on the top. Then it's kind of like this three two. Thing exactly. Fires. I, I saw it on the loading screen. So it's very obvious. So the torpedo range, the torpedoes aren't terrible. Uh, they don't do a huge amount of damage. But the range is pretty good, with about six and a half kilometers. Let me slurp first. <laughs> yeah, you can drink something. <laughs> and um, the the surface detection is also pretty decent, with just about five kilometers. Now for my for my elite bonus, I've actually got the torpedo damage and flooding chance in here. I think he also. I think he also I think this guy also recommended to <laughs> to put that on there because it was the best one to put on. There. Uh, it's 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 really up to choice. You uh, you can totally go with the ship hit points and with the max speed. No, well. I would say the torpedoes are the best because that thing has torpedoes. A lot of torpedoes. 
So for equipment, well, we're in tier three. There's not much we can do really. Nope. Uh, the guns are terrible, so we don't even bother with them. And also, I, m mine and his um, Campbell Town look have the same. Camo we, on it. Yeah, we both have the same camo. We get to the camo in a second. But uh, in terms of modules, I have the torpedo mod one for torpedo tr tube traverse speed because they do take a little bit to turn around. And there's really not anything in the equipment. There, are, you get the steering gear mod, you get the speed mod. That's pretty much it. And um, actually, what was the camo when they w when they were going to the? Um, oh, it looked like a German torpedo boat. So this. What does a torpedo German? torpedo boat look like? Well, not like this. <laughs> it has a German what flag on it. What does it look like? <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to find a picture of it and I'll show you later. Yeah. But this this is actually the proper um, camo for what the Campbell Town looked like. So this is the historical camo flag. Look, it's tier 3. It was cheap, so we'll take it. Uh, it gives us a bit more torpedo range, better torpedo speed, better ship turn time, and uh, better detection. So in all in all, it's not it's not a terrible thing. And There's uh, a, yeah. And um, I, this is actually one of my favorite destroyers because it's actually really fun to use. And you're playing on a tier three battle, so you're usually playing with noobs. <laughs> there's another thing that she has I, I mean i know you're not a, a destroyer player but there's another thing she has which is a smoke generator so yes, you get yes, yes. two charges of smokes which smoke which screens are basically you have the ship and it's <laughs> and it's there and, and it's getting shot a lot and if you have low health you can switch on your smoke screen which is just basically a big puff of smoke coming out of your ship and nobody can see your tag. Your enemies can't see the tag of you, yeah. and they can't see you, so it's hard. To that's play. that's the idea. Done. And the other thing that's special about her is she gets single fire torpedoes. So yeah. you can fire these torpedoes three in a spread, so, or you yeah. can fire them one by one. Isn't that like in all of them? No, this is a very special thing that only the British ships have. Oh. Okay. So, um, let's let's go play a battle. All right. Let's go into battle. So we've got a Dreadnought, a Samson, a V25, and a Bogatir on the enemy team. Most of these people are bots. Uh, not actually. We've got four players and three bots. That's not too bad for, for bottom tier. And we're playing Icebergs, which is often the map for, um, for, for this kind of tier game. So yeah. we'll be switching perspective here. Uh, we're starting with me. And then I'm spawning. Me. Yeah, you, you'll be next. Don't worry. So I'm just kind of moving forward here and... Uh, we'll try to spot the enemy ships. They are relatively close. You, this is a very small map, so you can't be hidden for very long. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, you'll know that your part comes in a second here. So uh, you can I'm, see the ships really quickly. Yeah, like like, <gasps> like two seconds later, boom! Like you see that? Okay, there's the dreadnought, and I'm being spotted. Uh, I run into the Samson. So this is you now. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're spawning on the other side, and you're starting to move forward here. I try and to go you, you're basically doing the same thing that I did. You you went into the. I'm trying to go side, so like no, no, no not that many people go there. Mm, that's generally not a bad idea. And you're already starting to see a lot of enemy ships here, and yeah, you're also like, detected. Oh. You're detected by the V25. So are you thinking of dropping some torps there, or you're just trying to make up your mind which way you're gonna go? I, I think you're like, oh, oh dear, I ran into the whole enemy team. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay, so I've got a Samson to deal with here. So um, I'm turning away. And what is the Samson? That, that, that destroyer there. It's a tier 2 American, I think. Ah, oh, okay. So I'm trying to drop tops on him, but look what he's doing. He's dodging these. Look at that. And then I'm thinking, okay, he's going to he's gonna go in a full turn so he can get his torps. And he's, he's dodging away. Perfect top dodge. You don't get that at tier 3 all the time, like... Okay, so now I'm out of torpedoes, and he isn't. So I'm gonna have to wiggle away. And, um... See that... See that I make sure that I'm not getting torpedoed. But he, he doesn't really use his guns. Mm, yeah, cause... Cause... Oh, that's you again. Destroyers have really suckish guns, yeah. But that's okay, you can still use it. I mean, you, look, you're trying to... You're trying to torp that Tenryu, I think. Torpedoes. Yeah, I'm trying to torp him. But he's turning in. And he's trying to shoot me. Uh, you're dropping some torps, which is kind of the and right... And I accidentally hit the <laughs> V25. <laughs> and look then look how lucky I was. <laughs> Do you see that? It didn't hit me because they weren't out yet. Did you see that? No, he, you, you, uh, they weren't armed yet. And I think he completely passed them by you. So now you're trying <laughs> to... You've got a single torp left so in the tube. 
and 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 I got and I got hit for that, and and I have oh, really. You just player. missed with the tour, but you've got you. you and this is South Carolina, and I'm dead. So back to me, and I'm still fighting that Samson over here. Um, basically, I, remember how I said the guns are not the greatest on this ship? Well, um, yeah, that's why we're in a gunfight, obviously. But, you know, uh, he, he figured out that he has guns as well. There come his torpedoes, but that's not a problem. I can dodge these. It's going to get some, some space here. And I'm trying to have to lead the shots a bit more. I'm trying to gun him down because he doesn't have that much health either. So we're getting kind of close to our capital. You have full health. Yeah, but uh, this almost. is 8,000. It's not much, but... Um, How much know. does Samson have? No, not much more than I. Okay, I get to set him on fire. Set him on fire, that's nice. <laughs> No, he, he puts the fire out, that's okay. Um, but uh, I'll wear him down eventually, you know, that's the thing. Yeah, and I ask for help again. <laughs> yes, because you, uh, as we see, you now have South Carolina problems. Yes, there's somebody, there's this uh, battleship trying to shoot me. These were, these were actually good torps because you were not actually leading them too much. You see, you've, you've shot them a little bit behind the, the guideline because the South Carolina is in a turn. And oh. one, two, three. Three, good job. Yes, well I got, then. I got that, I got that hit, and he's a little bit over health. Can you see that? So now I try to go towards him because he has lower health. And you try to get the other three out from yeah. the other side, and again, you're doing the right thing here to drop them like this because he, again, he's turning. We're under That's attack. The third torp. And I see that he's turning too far. That I do with the other torp. Oh, that. Now you're popping your smoke just to get away from him because he just dodged between your torps. That's a bot. Bots are very good at dodging torpedoes. But your your other side is, is off cooldown again with the torps, so you can drop some more torps on him. And I drop these torps. Yep. These torps hit. And the bot can't see you because you were hidden by the smoke screen. Okay, that's back to me, and I'm still dogfighting that Samson over here. <laughs> there come his torps and dodging him. I'm dropping mine. Why didn't you why didn't you use like the um the, not the, not the wide ones like oh the, the single spread yeah no just because um because I, I i really don't know where he's going anyway so at this point he's dropping some more torpedoes and i think he's committed to that turn so now i'm dropping him from close distance and i don't think he's going to get out of this one let's see no, i keep, keep firing my guns and i'm smoking up just in case he does manage to dodge but i think he runs into one or two of them not just one but that's enough and here's the other destroyer. That's the one you were having problems with earlier. Yes. Okay. And now you're back to your North South Carolina issues. Yes. That's I, got, I, got, I, got, I got I got three, three hits in him, but he's three. really low health, and I'm really low health. So, and oh. he hits me again. Well, these were just secondaries. Um, yes. The problem is if he shoots you with the HE on the main guns, because these are big guns. <laughs> yes. So you're going in for a turn to get the other torpedoes again. He's on really low health. And you see, that's him. Yeah. Um, and it's like, goodbye, battleship. Oh, and goodbye, me. And I'm like, oh my 375 god. 375 health, but you get him. Good job. Yay! And I, got the, and I got a badge. I got struggle. And I'm still fighting the other destroyer. This is the V25 that, uh, that Potato destroyed earlier when he was trying to torture you from close distance. <laughs> so um, I'm just dropping them in, in his line and then stopping. Yeah. Uh, just in case he dropped, uh, but he, he actually dropped the torpedoes behind me, so I have to accelerate again. But uh, I think he's out of torps now, and he's running into two of the mines, so that's that. But um, how are we looking? How are we looking good? We're four to two ships, and there's the Bogatir and the Dreadnought. Uh, they haven't seen me, well, because I'm unspotted right now. So I'm dropping this. Uh, I'm dropping the torpedoes against the Bogatir and hoping that he's, well, sailing in a straight line. And of course, what he does is he's turning. Because, well, that's just my luck. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh, probably he's going to complete his turn. And I'm, you see that? I'm leading the torpedoes actually a little ahead of the line. Because when a ship comes out of turn, it accelerates. Because it's slower when it turns around. Yes. And at this point, let's see with how these three torpedoes are doing. And I think... They're hitting. Yeah, I, hit. I got two hits, hits in. Had, did, if I had got three hits in, it would have been dead. So I'm thinking, okay, he's probably, well, where is he going? Is he probably going this way and he's probably going to turn out, out this way? I'm just dropping a, dropping a spread in his direction, but I think he is, he is wildly maneuvering. Yeah, he's running into the Dreadnought, actually. So I'm just going to smoke up so they can't see me and start firing. Because we're leading on points, and you're doing the right thing. You're preserving your, your, 
you, you've got 300 health. <laughs> You're basically hiding at this point, <laughs> just so we don't lose any more points. Uh, but we're we're 50 points ahead, as long as uh, as long as uh, they don't cap us out, and there's only 25 seconds left, so they're not going to cap us. So I'm just running away here, seeing if I can get a second spread of torpedoes out against the dreadnought. But uh, they're not going to hit anymore. It's just 15 seconds left, so I'm spotted, but. Um, they're too far away, and they, they don't have guns on target. And I'm still almost full health, so it's all good. And these torpedoes would have totally hit. Oh, there's like a couple seconds more they would have hit, but uh, it's okay. We did good, I think. Yeah, we did really good. <laughs> and you got an MVP. Uh, but just just about, I think. Um, I think just because I had, an, I had a kill more than you did. Uh, because I think you did a decent amount of damage against the battleship as well. Let's see. Yeah, you're just a thousand points and a kill behind me, so well done oh, that one. Nice. High five. <laughs> okay. Good job. So, how do you like the Campbell Town? It was nice, it's fun. It's I have a lot of luck when I play with it. It's fun to play with. Um, it has really good torpedoes, and it's really nice. I mean, I know that you're not a destroyer player, so I think for that, you, you do it, it worked pretty well. Yeah, so it worked not, really not a bad little ship. Uh, not a li bad little premium to have. So, as always, uh, premium ships are not required to be good in the game. It's all about the captain, not so much about the ship. Yep. And that's it for today. Thank you for joining me today. Yay! And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye!